Today, I'm going to show with the help of what devices you can extend the range of your Wi-Fi signals to a few miles, in order for you to be able to connect to its at work, cottage or school, wherever you want, even in the field. We will check what is the maximum distance and speed your Wi-Fi signal can reach. First of all, let us choose an appropriate hotspot. To my mind, the most suitable is Ubiquiti Wi-Fi hotspot, such as Nano Station, Nano Bridge, AirGrid and Nano Beam. These hotspots are known for their high reliability, that is what mobile network service providers like them for. In contrast to other professional devices, these ones are very easy to set up. There is a wide range of choices for different distances, by the way, you can significantly increase the distance of nano station signal range if you attach it to a satellite dish. One of the disadvantages is its relatively high price. There is a cheaper option though, for instance to P-Link hotspots. There is a quite powerful antenna built-in, its propagation range of Wi-Fi signals is even longer, but it's got a less reliable software. That is why it may freeze once a month, you will have to reset your router to restore Wi-Fi connection. That is why providers don't like them, but it's pretty good for personal use. There are cheaper options offered by Chinese manufacturers, apart from being less reliable, those routers have weak antennas also. If you want, you can make a do-it-yourself antenna. There is a detailed video tutorial on my channel about how to make one. Now let us see how to set up a Wi-Fi hotspot the right way. A battery charge extender comes with a Wi-Fi hotspot setup. You need not connect the cable to the hotspot because of the so-called PoE technology. The system passes electrical power along with the data on twisted Ethernet cabling. That is why you need an 8 corded twisted cable pair to set up the hotspot the right way. One end of the cable has to be connected to the Wi-Fi hotspot, the other end has to be plugged into the PoE port. Either 8 corded cable end or 4 corded cable end of the battery charge extender is connected to the other port of the battery charge extender and to the computer for further settings. Let me show you how to set up Nano Station as an example. Let us plug it in. Once the lights have been turned on, I recommend to reset it to factory settings, having pressed the reset button for 10 seconds. Now let us type the following IP address in the computer network interface controller settings 192 168 1 22. Let me open any browser and type 122.168.1.20 in the address bar. Let me click the enter button. Now I have access to the nano station settings. I'm typing UBNT in the username and password lines over here. Let us choose compliance test in the country section. It will help us to use alternative channels and get the maximum power. In the wireless section, you can choose the mode you want your nano station to work in. The first mode is station. It enables connecting to other hotspots. The next mode is access point. This mode enables propagation of Wi-Fi signals as if it were a regular router. Let us type the name of our Wi-Fi network over here and the password over here. Let us choose 20 MHz in the channel width section and choose the frequency of the propagation of Wi-Fi signals. I recommend to scan the frequency range beforehand and choose a free channel, in order not to interfere with the work of internet providers who work in your territory. Let us choose the modes in the network tab. If you choose a bridge option, you will extend your wireless network on the channel. If you choose router mode, your nano station will work as the home router and you will be able to access it with your mobile phone or laptop. Don't forget to save the changes. For a long distance propagation of Wi-Fi signal, line of sight is very important, although in my experience the tops of trees and roofs of houses almost don't interfere with the signals. On the other hand, high massive contract buildings can shorten the distance of propagation up to 10 times. If you don't have line of sight, there are two ways to bounce off the obstructions. The first is to attach the antenna to a roof or an antenna pole as high as possible. In case if that is not enough, you can use a repeater to provide a path around the obstruction sending the signals to the repeater and then to the receiver. Thus you will avoid the obstructions. When setting up the antenna, make sure that it is attached straight up and down. Even a slight tilt may significantly deteriorate the quality of polarization. As a result, the speed will decrease. Now is the time to test out the hotspots. I took Nano Station, a laptop, two smartphones and rode a motorcycle to check out the maximum distance I can access the high-speed internet from. The first test was held with line of sight. For this purpose, I attached the hotspot to this 9th floor building. 
To my surprise, the smartphone could identify the Wi-Fi network even 10 kilometers away from the hotspot, whereas I could connect to the internet on a cheap smartphone up to 300 meters away from the hotspot. The more expensive Sony smartphone could connect to the internet up to 1 kilometer away from the hotspot. At the same time, the speed of the internet is ample to watch a video in HD quality without any interruptions. Yeah. Although the speed of the internet is not that uninterruptible, taking into account the long distance, according to the speed test, the speed of the down Download data was fast, whereas the upload speed was slow. Most probably it is so because of a weak Wi-Fi module. Nevertheless, it is a great result. Just imagine, you can access your Wi-Fi up to 1 km away from the Wi-Fi hotspot, but I'm interested in longer distances. That is why I'm going to test out Nano Station. I'm 3 km away. Now I'm 6 km away, 10 km away. I'm 10 km away from the Wi-Fi hotspot, and I have got the maximum Wi-Fi signal strength. The maximum distance I could access the Wi-Fi network from was 12 km. The internet connection is surprisingly stable and is at the maximum speed according to its speed limit. On the way back, I checked from what distance I could connect to a regular home Wi-Fi router. You can access Wi-Fi that is propagated by a cheap Wi-Fi router up to 1 km away from the hotspot. Now is the time to check what the ultra-long range Wi-Fi hotspot is capable of when it meets such obstructions as dense reinforced concrete 9 floor buildings. There was no line of sight and quite predictably, the distance of Wi-Fi signal propagation was way shorter. By the way, the signal was very unstable, in most years the Wi-Fi could be accessed only in certain places. It's noteworthy that the strength of a signal could change from the lowest point to the highest one. That is why, having adjusted the hotspot's location and the receiver, you could get good enough results even in such poor conditions. Anyway, it is better to set it up as high as possible. As you can see, it is not difficult to extend Wi-Fi signals to long distances. Some of my friends have been accessing the internet with the help of one nano station for over two years. They access dozens of nano station and nano bridges set up in their friends' houses from different distances. Quite surprisingly, the quality of such internet coverage is pretty high. For over two years, there has no been any internet hand, and the speed of the internet does not drop even in rush hours. Share the idea with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and do not miss out on our new videos.